our nature on planet Earth is not only unique and complex, it also hides many incredible wonders. To explore the whole world, one human life is not enough. So we will have a look at some of the most important and well-known animals on Earth today. We will fly from the sky and into the water, from the rainforests to the desert and back again. We will dive into our oceans, be fascinated by the coral reefs, and later lurk to admire wildcats and exotic animals. The journey into our nature begins now and is as exciting and adventurous as life itself. To understand the diversity of life, it is good to look at the different kinds of habitats we can find on Earth. Everything started in the water, and without water, there is no life. We humans consist of 80% water at birth. Our blue planet consists mainly of this liquid element as well. We have salty and so-called fresh water, which is usually drinkable. Therefore, it's not surprising that all living beings came from the oceans, over our coasts, and on to land. The diversity of species in our oceans and rivers is only comparable with the amount of species in the rainforests. To date, we have counted 1.8 million different animal species in our nature. So there's still a lot to discover. There's no species that can survive without water. The lack or reduction of water in a biosphere could lead, for example, to incredible animal migrations because every living creature needs water. Rivers wander like lifelines across our continents. The first civilizations were always founded near big rivers. Even today, we humans use drinking water from seas and rivers and use water flows for the generation of energy and for agriculture. Of course, there are more habitats than rainforests, coasts, and savannas. But today, we take a closer look at the animals and the habitats near the equator. So let's leave it at that. Due to the usually warm weather, a countless diversity of species thrive here. We can see here in the background how liters of water fall from the sky.
In addition, the absence of cold winters, which would drive the common animals away, and the fertile grounds, are the reasons why we find such a great diversity of animals here. One of the most famous animals from Africa is watching us curiously. It stands gracefully in the step, and because of its height, always has the best view. We often meet giraffes in small hordes. The young animals are always a step behind the adults. The male giraffe is taller than the female, and you can recognize him by the tuft of hair on his small horns. There are never two giraffes with the same pattern of spots. They're not shy at all. Because of that, it can happen that those animals who appear to be sassy cross the streets in front of park visitors who are driving by. These proud animals belong to the image of the African savannas. But giraffes are being hunted. In the past 30 years, their population has been almost cut in half. Their habitat is being destroyed more and more. And the giraffe has already disappeared completely from seven African countries. They're being poached because of their meat and the growing superstition about the healing abilities of their body parts. As a result, Giraffes are already on the red list of endangered species from the IUCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Calmly and gently, these giants cross the African steppes. African elephants can grow up to four meters tall and become as heavy as five tons. Although most people believe that elephants are very slow animals, they can speed up to 40 kilometers per hour and can thus easily catch up with every human and some cars on the African paths. Like many other animals, elephants are gregarious creatures. So they're better protected in a world full of predators. These extremely heavy creatures can travel distances up to 80 kilometers per day. They need an incredible amount of food for their basic needs. So you often see them eating. These elegant pachyderms are not only highly intelligent, they're also very social. Because of their remarkable long-term memory, they can remember places, voices, and scents for decades. Despite what most people think, the skin of the elephant is actually very sensitive and tender, especially on some spots, like their belly or behind their ears. The elephant's characteristic feature is its trunk. It's a multifunctional tool which they use to grab, smell, drink, and breathe. Another special feature of their trunk is that it consists of 40,000 muscles and no bones. So it has impressive elasticity and mobility. Sadly, the population of these giants has been declining throughout the whole world. Guilty are the hunters who have been preying upon their precious ivory for decades. Although the hunting of elephants has been strictly forbidden, it's still practiced actively. 
If this situation doesn't change, these gentle pachyderms will not exist on this planet anymore. It looks here like a group of elephants are taking a bath. But no, here we have a completely different African species. The hippo, also called hippopotamus or river horse. That's how they protect themselves from the burning sun and take time for the beautiful things in life. Relaxing, playing with the family, and of course, mating. Due to their colossal weight, mating has to take place in the water. Because of climate change, which especially affects Africa with the absence of the rainy seasons, these spectacular powerhouses are now on the red list of animals threatened with extinction. Although they don't even have predators as enemies. Nevertheless, they can become very aggressive especially during mating season, and become dangerous to humans. That's why you always have to be careful when these beautiful animals are nearby. These giants are incredibly strong, and against all expectations, they can get very fast. Strangely enough, the river horse isn't, as you might assume due to their name, related to the horse at all. Instead, the hippos have common ancestry with the whales. They're the closest still living relatives to the giant sea creatures. Strength lies in peace. The old saying is 100% correct. These unique animals look so peaceful and relaxed However, this African wildcat is an exceptional one. In the wild, it holds world records, especially when it comes to speed. 120 kilometers per hour is their maximum speed. And in comparison to the fastest human in the world, Usain Bolt, the cheetah doesn't need 9.6 seconds to travel 100 meters. It can reach that distance in six seconds. Extreme speed, agility, and elegance result from the advanced physical build of this wildcat. Even the nasal cavity, bronchi, and lungs are enlarged, so this impressive animal can breathe faster and take in more oxygen. When the fast wildcat sees its prey, it sneaks up on it until it is about 100 meters away. An animal like the cheetah should actually be doing well, but sadly, this isn't the case. Humans have hunted the cheetah because of its fur. Today, only about 7,000 of these beautiful and elegant wildcats exist worldwide. That's why they're now on the IUCN threatened from extinction list. Oops, another animal which looks very similar to another. But leopards don't like it when they get confused with cheetahs. The differences between them are easy to recognize if you look closely. A notably stronger body, a different shaped head, and eyes that are clearly saying, I hunt at night. For thousands of years, the leopard has been feared and worshipped by humans. They are excellent hunters, climbers, and sprinters, and play a major role in the mythologies of different cultures.
The black panther, for example, is actually a leopard with all black fur. Leopards are typically loners. But here, we see something very rare, a leopard couple. The animals only stay together for about eight or nine days to mate, and then go their own way again. With their sharp claws, they can climb trees up to 15 meters tall and pull up their catches, which are very heavy. This leopard is eating his prey, which he pulled up to a branch fork so other predators like vultures won't steal his feast. Sadly, these animals are endangered too, and soon will only be seen in books or movies. What do we have here? A young cheetah? A baby leopard? No, it's a completely different wildcat from the jungle, an ocelot. This great animal gets its name from the Aztecs, and because of that, we already know where it lives. The home of these wildcats is in South and Central America. They're very shy, Wildcats are an interesting field to study. There are so many species in so many places in our world. Slowly, we move away from the wild savannas of Africa and move towards the coast. One of the most famous inhabitants here are the seals, also called sea lions. They're relaxed animals and don't show fear towards humans. Sea lions are very playful and intelligent. That's why it's not unusual to see them as circus attractions. In the wild, seals like to spend most of their time in the water. Adult sea lions are excellent swimmers and can dive up to 200 meters deep. Sea lions prefer to reside close to rocky coasts. Here we see a colony of seals, which live packed tightly together. A colony is formed by many females, who live as if they're part of a harem, and one male is in charge, like a king. However, the male in charge has to defend himself against other males daily, who want to push him off his throne. Dangerous for seals are orcas or sharks, which we will visit later on. Sea lions aren't heavily endangered, but are being protected because fur hunters pursued them heavily until the 1980s, especially cute baby seals because of their fluffy fur. These colorful birds are parrots. Since the time of Alexander the Great, 300 years before Christ, they have been traded all around the globe. That's why there's no country left where these animals cannot be found. Their nature is highly sociable and loyal. Therefore, they're easy to hold in confinement. Mm -hmm. 
However, there is nothing more soothing than to witness these animals in the wild. This is possible not only in South America or Africa, but also in Europe or Germany. Because there, parrots and parakeets started to settle. Another thing that is quite nice, these animals commit themselves to lifelong relationships with their partner. It is often documented that if one partner dies, the other one will die as well. We would call that lovesickness. The research of these wild birds is still going on full speed and constantly bears new species and subspecies. Therefore, it is truly fascinating to study these remarkable animals. Birds and reptiles have a lot in common, not only because they both lay eggs, but also because of the way their bodies are built. That's why scientists today are still discussing whether dinosaurs have more in common with birds or reptiles. This little fellow here is an iguana, an extraordinary reptile. There are 40 different species in the iguana family. All of them are cold-blooded, including their tail, they can reach a length of up to two meters long. Recognizing the male iguana is easy. He has a mohawk going from his head to his tail. These animals are very frugal, territorial, and loved by humans, who often keep them as pets. There's a saying, you should not wake sleeping giants. And that's what we have here. Crocodiles are the largest reptiles living in our nature. Up to five meters in length and weighing up to 900 kilograms, this animal needs a lot of energy just to move. That's why these creatures spend most of the day relaxing very close to water. But if you look carefully, you'll recognize that these animals are far from sleeping. Their eyes are open, and they're very aware of their surroundings. And watch out. If they start moving, they can move pretty fast and bite. Crocodiles are not on the verge of extinction anymore because some farmers recognize the possibility of farming them. Elegant animals do not only live in the air or on land, but also in the water. One of these very beautiful underwater specimens are sea turtles. They descend from tortoises and freshwater turtles, which isn't hard to recognize. Calm and relaxed, these gentle creatures glide through the water. They're not very sight-related creatures because they travel incredibly long distances every year. Except when laying their eggs, these incredible animals spend their entire life in the water. They survived the dinosaurs and the continental drifts Apart from some small adaptations, their appearance didn't change much. In contrast to their relatives on the land, these animals have extremities, which remind us of paddles. They also have a more flat and aerodynamic shell, so they're better suited to their habitat.
All sea turtles are threatened with extinction, since human beings have been hunting them for centuries. However, there is good news. According to studies, since 2017, the population has been growing again in many areas. Cold-blooded killers predators, and bad boys of the oceans. That is how we humans know the shark. However, this could not be further away from reality. Incredible tales that sharks can smell human blood or often confuse humans with seals have contributed to establishing this mistaken image. Although sharks are the biggest predatory fish on our planet, you're more likely to get hit by a coconut and die than you are to be killed in a shark attack. The hammerhead shark, which actually looks like a tool. Moreover, never let it be said that there are no tigers underwater. Just take a look at the patterning of our tiger shark. These elegant fish have lived in our oceans for over 400 million years and have adapted to many changes. Even though this sand shark seems quite grim, he is still a sea dweller that needs to be protected if we want to continue using our seas in the future. The shark's closest relatives are the rays. Since these wonderful creatures developed from sharks, they are simply flattened versions of those great fish. Rays prefer to stay near the ocean floor, and they move, as we can clearly see here, by waving their pectoral fins majestically up and down like wings. However, these unique members of our nature also can be seen floating through the water with their fins moving like waves. Due to the fact that their topside is perfectly suited to blend in with their environment, they have an easy time hiding on the ocean floor. However, as we see, the fish may also swirl up some sand to take cover or to find food like small snakes in the sandy ground. There are roughly 630 different kinds of rays. Like sharks, some are bigger, some smaller, and some are simply majestic, like the manta ray. There she blows, was once the cry of the whaler. The tale of Moby Dick is one of the first stories to change the victims into villains. We humans have nothing to fear from whales, but whales should fear us. From the 18th century to today, their population has decreased by 98%. All that 
just so we humans can produce fuel for oil lamps. These breathtaking and impressive creatures can grow to incredible dimensions. As is generally known and often mentioned in children's stories, whales do have blowholes on the backside of their heads. Since whales are mammals, they breathe with lungs and have to regularly swim to the surface of the water to breathe. Therefore, they cannot just sink to the depths of the sea to sleep, but have to use a special technique, which is surprisingly clever. Unlike humans, whales and dolphins breathe actively and not automatically. Because of this mechanism, it is only possible to rest one half of their brains. The other half must constantly stimulate them to swim up and breathe. There has already been a lot done to help these endangered animals but we are still some centuries away from the population's full recovery. Life underwater is very different from life on dry land. Whoever wants to breathe here needs gills to filter oxygen out of the water. Limbs like ours on land are not very useful underwater. Anyone who wants to be quick needs strong fins and a streamlined shaped body. Corals provide many fishes housing and food. In exchange, they get rid of algae and other pests like snails and crabs by eating them. The coral reefs have beautiful bright colors which are high in contrast so that they can be recognized from a distance. A coral reef resembles a city for fishes. They live together in schools, and the corals are their homes, which protect them from enemies like sharks or other predators. Thanks to the many ecological niches, there are almost no limitations when it comes to the colors and shapes of the fishes living there. Besides the rainforest, coral reefs are the most diverse habitat on our Earth. So far, only 60,000 out of the estimated 400,000 species which live there have been positively identified. Animals, reefs, and plants underwater are all endangered. Climate change and overfishing are only part of the problem. Sewage, oil tanks, and carpets made out of plastic are putting the environment over the edge. We humans tend to ignore anything we cannot see and consider it quite unimportant. However, our oceans are essential for all of us. This stiff, horizontal standing swimmer looks similar to the better known pike because of its thin and elongated appearance. Nevertheless, here we have a completely different kind of predatory fish, the barracuda. This kind of fish usually appears in tropical and subtropical areas of the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean. There are 26 different kinds of these elegant swimmers. Some of them can attain a length of 2 meters and a weight of up to 50 kilograms. As we see, their lower jaw is longer than their upper jaw, and nature has given them quite large fangs. This turns the barracuda into the bad boy of our oceans. Divers fear these carnivore fishes, since they are easily irritable and aggressive.
The fear of barracudas is therefore almost as great as the fear of sharks, given that most predatory fish attacks can be traced back to these animals. However, these so-called bad boys eat mainly mackerel, tuna, or other smaller kinds of fishes. Mores, the horror of every amateur diver. What winds itself here through the corals? A water snake? A somewhat elongated barracuda? An eel? It is a more. She belongs to the family of eel-like bony fishes. These extraordinary animal beings exist in almost any size and shape. These eel-like fishes can often be malicious and dangerous. Whenever they peer out of caves and crevices, their frightening appearance does not help inspire trust. With a strong, sharp set of teeth, mores can induce severe wounds on other creatures. That's not all. Some mores are also poisonous. These snake-like fishes only attack if they get surprised in their home, which is usually a small cave or crevice, up to four meters long. However, if left alone, they are actually quite calm and peaceful animals that merely wait in their hiding place for prey. Prey animals are small fish, crabs, or krakens. While on the hunt, these snake-like sea dwellers rely solely on their keen ability to smell and to hear. Their vision, however, is nearly useless, since all mores suffer from severe nearsightedness. This is also the reason why moray eels stay in their regular caves during the day and mostly hunt in the nighttime. He plays the starring role in many horror and monster movies, the great white shark. Rarely has any other animal had such an evil image as the Great White. Yet he should fear us humans more than we should fear him. Today, the Great White Shark is actually endangered. Great Whites are much sought after trophies by anglers. Their tail fin is used for gourmet food in some countries. And sometimes, they end up as bycatch in commercial fisheries. His name is due to his striking light stomach coloring, which is easy to detect here. He is the biggest predatory fish on our planet. Moreover, he can be found in almost every one of our oceans. Great white sharks are active predators, but sometimes you will find them feeding on carrion. His black eyes let him see better than cats at night and can detect even the smallest light sources. His jaw holds razor-sharp teeth that can grow back if one happens to fall out. Sharks have evolved constantly for more than 400 million years.
Here, we spot an Atelide mother with her offspring. Every other year, a new young one will be born. In the first few weeks of his life, the offspring clasps instinctively to his mother's fur. Atelidae are sociable and diurnal primates, which spend most of their days eating either plants or insects. These monkeys prefer to stay in high trees, where they enjoy protection from predators such as cats and snakes. Their notably long tails act as a grappler to assist with climbing, or as extra balance while jumping. These cuddly but elegant monkeys can be found in almost every part of Africa. Another kind of monkey is the baboon. There are five different kinds of baboons, which can be found in veldts, savannas, semi-deserts, and forests, as well as in rocky areas. They are also socially oriented and live in mixed groups of different dimensions. To communicate with their fellows, they have a large repertoire of options, for example, facial expressions, gestures, diverse sounds, and physical contact to show what their concern is. Monkeys are sometimes held incorrectly as pets, which is anything but ideal. Whoever shows interest in these animals should explore them in their natural habitat, the wilderness. Sometimes, while walking through the dry savanna or deserts, you'll catch him circling above your head. They are notably ugly-looking birds and feast on the cadavers of rotten carcasses. The vulture. In many cases, we humans underestimate them but they have a fundamental function in our nature. Here we see a dead cow, which got the vulture's attention. With their pointed curved beak, they are able to rip apart chewy skin to reach the still warm meat. Not a pretty sight, but this process is essential for the environment. Vultures are natural undertakers and arrange for a quick removal of the dead animals. They are specialized to feed on carrion and tolerate the toxic, rotten flesh. Without the vulture, dead bodies would lie on the ground even longer and would start to spread diseases. From a human perspective, Vultures are vermin and suffer from a similar image problem as sharks do. However, they are actually quite likable birds. They do not kill other animals and live in lifelong partnerships. Both parents raise their offspring, and a real vulture likes to laze around with his relatives. Almost every vulture species is endangered and needs help and protection from humans. Lions, the most feared predators in the African savanna and king of all wildlife. Their elegant and massive physique, their comparatively big head, and weight ranging from 150 up to 225 kilograms helps the lion claim this position in the world of the animals. There is one male which leads the group. Males are easily recognizable by their long, dark brown or reddish brown mane. A magnificent mane is a sign of a healthy, strong, and well-fed cat. In addition, with a maximum speed up to 80 kilometers per hour, he is one of the fastest animals on our planet.
Regardless of that, it is possible for us to observe these animals, and it's necessary that we do so. The territory of these impressive animals can reach an area of up to 400 kilometers and is strictly protected. Uninvited visitors will be expelled by deafening roars. Zebras, antelopes, gazelles, and gnus are lions' typical prey, which they hunt in prides. Only the females hunt, but that should be well known by now. The journey through our nature comes to an end. Hopefully, we have aroused your enthusiasm for our unique world. Not only does she deserve protection, but she is also filled with miracles that need to be discovered and admired. Whether Africa or Antarctica, whether high in the sky or deep down in the oceans, our nature is full of life. In addition, we all should never forget that we are part of this world. Without our nature, there is no future for us humans on this planet Earth.